This is the VRL website, and up here on the right, you'll see a purple button for Client Portal. You can request a profile on the Client Portal with any of your sales managers through VRL. We can set up a single profile that everyone at your institution can share, or we can set up individual profiles that everyone will share through the client code. You will use your email and a password will be generated by VRL for you to use the first time logging in. Once you log in, the Welcome VRL Portal demonstration will actually have your name in that location. It will say, Welcome John Smith. If you click on your name, it will bring you to the managed file. Here you can change your password. When you first log into the client portal, it brings you to the reports page. If you scroll down, you'll see that all reports are generated in a PDF. You can also request a CSV file if that would be easier for your institution to use. All of your results ever generated by VRL will appear here in chronological order. Here at the top, there are several search fields depending on how much data you've given to VRL. This is now searchable. You can search by species, by room, rack, barrier, and many other methods. There are three ways to order, template upload, manual, or paper. Once you are in the VRL portal, go to orders. After logging into the VRL order portal, blank templates for the ordering spreadsheet are accessible. This is the simplest way to begin inputting large amounts of data. There's an NHP template, as well as a small animal or rodent template. When filling out a template, investigator, specimen ID, species, and order code are required. All the other fields are up to the user's discretion. Most fields have a 50 character limit. Species is a drop-down menu. On the small animal, you have several options. You can type these in by hand, or you can select from this list. Either way, you must use one of the species on this list. On the primate template, there's also a drop-down, which has a list of primate options. Again, you can type these in by hand, or select from the list. However, they must match the options on this list. Room, rack, barrier, building, strain, sex, and age are all options you can choose to include. If you include this data, these will be searchable fields later when you go through your results. Special instructions. This field may be used at the client's discretion to capture any additional information that may be needed for your order. However, only the first row captures the data that you will see in the PDF that is generated. The maximum allowable data length in this field is 550 characters. As said before, one order code is required to submit samples to VRL. However, you can use up to six different order codes for a single sample. If you require more than six order codes for your order, please contact us and we will help you through the process. If you would like to include an investigator tied to a very specific sample or special instructions for specific samples, you would put them in Investigator 2 and Special Instructions 2. These two fields have no maximum data restrictions. Once you have filled out your template to your satisfaction, please save it and name it whatever makes sense for your institution. Back on the client portal, you will go to your account and your account will likely have only one profile. It will have the lab that you are tied to, your client code, as well as your institution name. On the far right is the Upload option. Once you click on Upload, you will then choose the file that you have saved. You can then hit Submit. A successful submission will take you to the Requisitions page where you will then see the batch number, the date, and time associated with your upload, and the PDF generated. It is possible to have a spreadsheet error such as a typo on an order code. If you happen to have a typo on an order code, we will still catch it before you upload it. The client portal will tell you the codes are invalid. It will even tell you which codes they are. 
So if you have a list of 600 samples that you are sending to us, you do not have to search line by line. We have told you where the error is so you can find it, correct it, and resubmit. Most of the fields have a 50 character limit. If you happen to have too many characters within that field, your spreadsheet will not be able to be uploaded into the portal. If your spreadsheet has exceeded the character limit within any of the fields, this is the error that you will see. If you believe you are getting the error by mistake, please call us and we will walk you through it. Manual upload is less efficient than the other two options, and we only suggest using this for a small volume of samples. In the portal under orders, you have a manual option. Clicking on manual brings you to the manual entry page. Here you will have to type in each field. Each test code will then have a description after it, so you can verify that these are the tests that you actually want to order. If you happen to have a typo, you will receive this error code at the top that tells you your order code is not valid. Now it's time to enter your sample data. You must select the species, and an ID is required. The rest of the information is up to the user's discretion. The order codes that you place here at the top then appear down here. If you need to remove an order code because you don't need all the tests for a single sample, you can do so now. On the far left, after you've added all your information, you click the Add button and the data is committed to the system. If you're in a field that has data listed above it, you can hit enter while you're in that field, and it will populate it with the data from above. So here, I'm hitting tab enter, tab enter, tab enter, tab enter, tab enter. This does speed up the process slightly, however you can see it is still cumbersome. As you can see here, I do have data in the bottom row. However, I've not committed it to the system. We do try to help you, and if you hit submit before you've actually committed everything, another error will appear. It lets you know that you have not committed all your data to the system. Click OK, add your final row of data, and then you can hit submit. You then get a message telling you that your order was successfully submitted. Once you hit OK, you'll be taken to the requisition page where your batch number, the date, and the time for your submission and the PDF have been generated. You may have noticed that these titles here do not match what is on the template. You have the option in the manual form to adjust these to your needs. You will do that here at the top where it will have your name. Under header sequence, you can change which fields are included in the manual upload. You may remove or add as many as you would like. Once you have made your selections, click on Save, and you'll be given the message that your headers have successfully been saved. When you go back to manual upload, you will then see your changes have taken place. If you believed you received an error code by mistake, such as a custom panel that we have given you a specific code for,
Please call us so that we can input it into the system and verify that everything is correct. For paper submissions, you can request that your sales manager send you the fillable PDF, or you can find it on our website. Click on Submit Samples. There are different forms based on the different types of testing that we offer at VRL. We'll use the All-Purpose Sample Submission form. On the top left, you'll include your investigator and company information. On the top right, it will be billing information. Just below that is specific sample information. When filling out sample information, sample or animal ID, species, and test code is required for submission. Room, rack, and additional information is at the user's discretion. If the number of samples you are submitting is greater than the number of fields on the page, you can include an Excel spreadsheet or an additional document that has all your information on it. You do not have to fill out multiple forms. Once you've filled out this PDF to completion, please print it out, place it in the box with your samples, and mail it to VRL. It is helpful to us if you email a copy of this form to the lab, however, that is not required, only appreciated. Within the portal, there is a Requisitions page. Here you will see all your requisitions that you have submitted to VRL. They'll be captured here in chronological order with both time and date stamps. Once you have completed your order, click on the PDF generated for that order. Once you hit submit on the online portal, that data has been given to the laboratory. The PDF that is generated right here then has to be printed off and placed in a box with the samples. The barcode at the top is tied to your submission, and once we receive this box, we will then scan the barcode, verify your account in the computer, and verify all your samples in the box to make sure everything matches. You can see here on the requisition PDF that all of your test codes now have descriptions next to them. If you happen to notice that you've included an incorrect test code, please call us. Do not resubmit your samples. The special instructions from the first cell are now included here at the top of the page. All of your data from species, specimen IDs, and everything else that you included then appears below. You can keep the PDF for your records, but please remember to print, place in the box with your samples, and send to VRL. What if I have a code for a custom panel specific for my account? If you have ordered this code before, it will be in the system and recognizable. If this is the first time you've ever ordered a custom coded panel, you'll need to call us to verify that the code is in the system, so you will not receive an error when submitting. Can others use my custom panel codes? No, those codes and panels are created specifically for you, and that information is never shared with others nor accessible by others. Can I delete columns that I will not use on the template? No, the columns need to appear in the specific order on the spreadsheets so our system can read the data accurately on our end. Just leave the column blank if you do not have or do not want to put data there. Can I copy and paste into the template? Yes. This is what makes it so great. You can copy over your data from your institution's online system or any spreadsheet. You can also add, copy, or drag down data in a column if you're using the same data for multiple samples. For example, building numbers, order codes, etc. There is no limit on the number of samples you can submit. Can I put my custom quote codes and descriptions into the template? Sure. Just add a second sheet or a second tab in the Excel template and you can put the test codes and descriptions for your VRL quote there so they're easily accessible when you create a template. Do I need to download a new template every time I want to submit samples? No. Once you've downloaded the template, you can save it to your computer and use it over and over. 
What if the portal is telling me that all my test codes are incorrect when I have confirmed they are exactly as they appear on the quote VRL gave me? There are two possibilities here. You quite possibly have downloaded or used the wrong template. There's one for primates or NHPs, and the other is for all other lab animals. If you think this is the case, double check which template you're using. The other possibility is that you are ordering a custom test or panel that has never been ordered previously and has not been added to our system. If you think this is the case, give us a call and we'll get your custom codes into the system immediately. What if I want to put multiple projects into one box or on one submission? Not a problem. You can enter as many samples as you want through all three of our submission options. If your projects are differentiated by the investigator, be sure to input those investigator names into Investigator 2 on the right side of the template. If there is some other differentiation, such as project number, you can enter the data under Additional Specimen ID or Special Instructions 2. There is no limit on the number of samples you can submit. Can I clear out my old requisitions? No. The client portal keeps a chronological record of all of your submissions. This helps both you and us track what has or has not been submitted online. What if I want to include information such as a FedEx tracking ID? While not required, it can be helpful to include your FedEx tracking number for your samples that you're submitting online. You can put this information in the first cell of the special instructions so that we see it right at the top of your submission. Another option is to put it into special instructions too. Can I pay online with a credit card? We're currently working on this capability and should have it up and running shortly. In the meantime, you can call VRL's billing department to arrange payment by credit card.